Good morning guys, welcome to Saturday and welcome to us being in the barn. It's our first stop of the day. So today, oops. actually our first stop was tomorrow. Yeah, coffee first. Coffee always is first. Uh oh, look at your shirt. Oh, over your shirt. Uh, today we're starting off at the barn because you guys know Chino was lame yesterday and so we have to check on him today. I'll see how he's doing and then let our vet know just to make sure. It doesn't seem like it's anything serious but some horses are just harder to keep sound. Is you know I'm so Yeah. Hi, handsome boy. How you doing? He's like, I don't know. Why am I in here? <laughs> look how cute you look. Finn's outside all by himself. I want to see if he's out here. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that's your girl. I almost like, I asked Fiona, do you think it could be the last ride he had? Mm -hmm. Moving a little better, it looks like. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Was Finn there? Oh, Finn is there. Come here, Finn. It's okay. <laughs> Come here, Finny. You have treats? No, buddy. You gotta go get some. Come on. <laughs> you were in the shelter, and then they all started moving, no, and then I wasn't in the shelter. And then what happened? They started fighting, and I ran. <laughs> oh, don't touch that. Go get some treats. Hurry up, Finn. Don't run off! Oh, he's going with his friend. Come here, handsome. Don't walk away. Finn, look! Finn, I have treats! I'm not going to chase you. Look! Finn! He's all alone. I feel bad for him. Look, Finn! Yeah. Come on, big guy. I feel bad that he's alone. Because Storm's gone. Now Chino's gone. One thing about Finn, knock on wood, he does not like to get hurt. There's a horse in my purse. Yeah, smell in my purse. That's my purse. <laughs> he took Sophie's treats and then left. Which is weird because all of his friends are here. Look, I got treats for you. We just want to love on you. We just want to love you. Here, look, Finn. More treats. He's confused. He's like, wait, you're not working me? Okay, fine. We love you, Finn. Oh, this makes me sad because there's no horses there for him. We're leaving. We're leaving. You can come back. We're leaving. Hopefully he comes back. Poor guy. Is he coming back? No, he just stopped and turned his head like crazy. Oh, you poor guy. That's okay. You're okay. Yeah. All right, so little teeny tiny bit of heat on his ankle. Like yesterday, he must have just done it maybe when he was coming in because he said he, he looked fine coming in and then stood in his stall and then we came and he was lame. So we gave him some more medicine and put him back in his stall and the vet's gonna come and see him tomorrow. So we'll be back. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll come back tonight and we'll cold, hold, cold hose him again and spend more time with him because I feel really bad. Like he's got company and other horses hurt too. So I don't know what happened. But obviously the horses were running because another guy got like probably wrecked by a tree. So yeah, like the other horse looks way worse, but we'll see. Like it's not, but they weren't fighting or anything. Oh, but yeah, man. Life with horses is so hard. Like the most stress I've had of my life is over horses. All right, let's go. The spot that um, has heat on him is literally like there was no heat yesterday, so it hadn't even started really. We must have just caught it. But the spot that he has heat is so tiny. So let's just pray, you guys. Pray that it's just something simple and he gets better fast. I'm sure he will. Before Trillia before Trillium, but you know, when it comes down to like your horse being hurt, who cares about a horse show? Who cares as long as your horse is okay? And the thing is, the last lesson that they had was so good. Like, he actually looked like this powerful show horse now, and she just learned how to like, actually get him moving from the from the hind, what he needed to move from the hind, and, oh, man. So, 
Sam had to go and help Fiona today. She's just getting some hay, picking up hay, and her truck was having trouble, so Sam went to help. What would have been better? For uh, Thanksgiving or whatever. Easter. Kyle wanted to do something. Yeah. We should have played soccer. Yeah, we should play soccer. Mm -hmm. We have a big soccer field. I called it on the mark. All right. So, uh, basically, Gabby's just talking about how we yeah, missed Mark, Easter, and my boys like to do, like, fun activity yeah. stuff, so she's planning for the next holiday. But we have the Delta variant here now, and our numbers are starting to go up again, but they're saying that the hospitals are not overwhelmed because enough people have their vaccines. Anyway, I was saying that Sam went to help Fiona, and he didn't do chores, he just let the horses out which is fine. So we're gonna do chores here today, and then we're gonna do a little bit of horse tax. Then we're gonna go to the tax store, get some stuff. But I think today's vlog is gonna have to be a barn cleaning vlog because this barn be looking rough. There's grass growing in the girl's winter paddock. Do you guys see it in the little field? There's never been grass in here in a long time. Is there something small enough to break up mini? I wanna use her for us. You want to use her for lessons? She'd be a good lesson pony. She's getting she's old. I see more gray in her face. I see more round in her belly. You gotta work that off, little mini. We are loading up on shavings, you guys. Sam brought his truck and we are loading up on shavings because shavings, we're always running out. We always need them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Guess how much it costs for 12 shavings. 88.95 and this is the cheapest place to buy shavings too really eh yeah. get up there Sophie or somebody I'm not going up there <laughs> the easiest job is going up there moving these mm. you'll be carrying them no I'm going up there no. You had a choice and you said no. I think I got a dead bag there. I know, I told you. That one's wet. That one was like half empty. Oh. talking about we should maybe buy a skid of shavings I'm just gonna have to figure out how to contact the company because actually I think I remember somebody that said the name of a company I just have to think about it open up the one in the no you put it there three oh! open up to the shavings and then use this one for her
family. I just wanted to do a good sweep and do a good sweep in here. We put the saddle pads back up there. Did a little clean. Like it looks messy because Sam's stuff and our stuff and all the stuff, but it's organized chaos, you guys. Like it's literally organized. If you start from here and go all the way around over to here, you can see it's organized chaos. Not perfect, but who has time for perfect? This is almost like a tack room tour. This is it, you guys. This is where we keep all the stuff. And we don't even have our horse's stuff in the barn. These are all the shoes that I keep because and helmets because one day we might have a little school. Which I'm actually excited. Like, I, I would like to have a school and have instructors to teach him. Only because I like buying horses and I like the horses. <laughs> And I like seeing the horses and having them around and seeing kids fall in love with horses. So I keep all that stuff in case the day does come. But before we go back up to the house, I want to show you guys something. It was supposed to rain. It literally rained for five seconds. Like the ground's not even wet. These babies are cantaloupes. Aren't they adorable? And there's so many of them. Wait, can you see that one? Right there. Some over here, but they're like really growing. I've actually never had this many weeds in my garden before, but I'm telling you, no time for anything. And then I just wanted to update you guys on my on my watermelons. They are literally the cutest thing. So like, look at my finger. This is how big they are. And I have a bunch of them. Every time you just lift up a lift up a vine, and there's a little pumpkin or a little watermelon on the end. And one last thing I wanted to show you guys is that, ow, 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 I'm being stabbed, is that our pumpkins are starting to turn orange. So that is super exciting. That one even underneath there is starting to turn orange and I don't want to pull it out because I don't want to wreck the vine. But yeah, they're starting to turn orange. And they're all, like this stuff is all kind of dying off a little. You can see little bits of orange everywhere where there's little pumpkins. So the rain is about to come. We'll be back at the barn again in the morning to check on Chino. And then the vet will be here on Monday. And I think we're gonna do a few different things when he's here, have him like check a few different things, not just why he's lame today. If you guys are wondering if he's lame in the same foot that he was lame in like two weeks ago, no, it's a completely different foot. And I did feel a little bit of heat, I told you, I think already in it today. So, I think. So, we're gonna just have him come and see what he recommends. Might need like some pads for his feet because maybe his, I don't know. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. Because honestly, I think that's one of the biggest things that our channel stands for is that everything happens day by day. It's all the little tiny things that build up over time that really teach us and enable us to grow as people. Nothing ever just happens like that. But we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there with him, we're gonna get there with Storm, we're gonna figure it all out with Penny. Life with horses is hard. Don't you know that you're beautiful?